Bahia kids. Do you remember the $80 Shiba satellite? Yeah, I remember the $80 Shiba satellite. Well, we're not looking at that today because today we got a brand new computer from uh, around 2012 or so. It's not a laptop, it's a tower. Yeah, this is the first tower I've ever had. So everyone, this is it. Do you like it? You can't even see it. So, uh, yeah, let's just unbox this, I guess. This is the computer right here. Hey everyone. Yeah. Nice big fella, isn't it? All right, we're going handheld for one moment here. Yeah, I'll go through some of the stuff here. Okay, so to start, we got our uh, fan. Ooh, it goes round and round. I actually think this is an SSD. Hmm, what an upgrade. Let's get all this hooked up. All right, so I think we're ready to start our computer journey. Three, two, one. There we go. User, welcome. Well, there it is. Mouse doesn't seem to be working. All right, so uh, I went with a different mouse. This is my mouse from my, like, you know, main laptop. And this keyboard here, and it's just a wired keyboard from Dell. So I think it's meant for use for Windows 7. Speaking of Windows 7, this is what, Windows 7 is what this computer originally came with. So like, uh, yeah, we're going to try and reinstall it. As you can see, it's running Windows 10. Might try to get 11 on this using some hacks. We've got Google Chrome on here. Yeah, pretty standard install of Windows 10. Now about this internet issue. Yeah, I don't think we have any Wi-Fi card in here. So yeah, it might be like connected to Ethernet. Let's see if I can get far in this. Are you serious? We also got LibreOffice on here. So we got Writer. So let's start with Writer here. Hey, oh, no, hey, hey, kids. Right here. It's in Times New Roman. Or no, Liber Liberation Serif. Make this big talent. Make this like underlined, I guess. I don't know. Make this strike through. Yeah, so cool. Next is uh, LibreOffice Calc. <laughs> it's not a calculator. It's a, uh, it's basically just Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Yeah. And now it's LibreOffice Impress because you're going to impress your, uh, to our colleagues. Candy, I like candy. Yeah, look at this. Why, uh, why Libre Office is good? Uh, I don't feel like typing this, okay? Oh, Video Land. Yo, we got VLC on here. I actually was going to install VLC, but. Hey, look, we also have a uh, draw base and map on here. I don't, I don't feel like looking at those though. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered, how will it handle art? Only one way to find out. Let's install. All right, setup is finished installing GIMP. Finish. Let's just create something in this beautiful, in this beautiful art program. See how good it handled this. Yeah, Looking pretty good. One last thing before we nuke this sucker and install Windows 7 on it. So, uh, yeah, it's time to insert our super awesome 1210 CD. This music is f***ing amazing, and I cannot praise it enough. DLC media player. Let's go. Continue, okay. I mean, hey, media works. I just have to do this every single time, okay? It's my new rule.
I mean, it works smooth. I mean, yeah, it looked like smooth, mostly. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this play. Listen, I know this music is copyrighted, but like, I mean, I don't even earn money from these videos anyway, so who cares, right? This is by far the best part of the song. 99.9% .9 of people watching this video have never heard the song in their life, but I've granted you this. That is our final send off for this, this install of Windows 10. I think we are ready to put this in here. The Windows 7 installation DVD. All right. Use a device. I think it's this. Or is that just the hard drive? Hey, look, we actually got like a graphical BIOS. DVD RAM, I think that's it. There we go, Windows is loading files. Yeah, the screen resolution should name quite right, but uh, eh, whatever. I do accept these license terms. I read every bit. Custom. And we're network press shift F10, D I S K P A R T. L. Just go this disk. Okay, disk one is the USB drive that's plugged in. So we want to select disk zero. Now, type the five magic letters. There we go. Unlock kid space. All right. Uh, cue that time lapse. Type a username and then type a computer name. I don't know. What should I call this? I don't know. Gigabyte. Sure. Product key. Well, there is a product key on the computer, but I, don't, I think it's a different version. Eh, let's just skip it. Ask me later. Next. And yeah, we are still in 4x3. And yeah, it just crops off the other half for whatever reason. I think it's trying to stretch to widescreen, but it's just cropping things out. It's so weird. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about this thing running 1 to 7. Like, the, the store owner said it originally ran 1 to 7, and I think that's on the product key as well, but yeah, we have done the drivers. Okay, so even in the fucking BIOS, it crops things out. So we know it's not like the, like the, like it's just this TV for some reason. It just keeps cropping things out. But hey, look at this. I've never seen this before. Uh, you know, it's a BIOS with a bunch of like fancy stuff and you know. You know, I could have just kept it on Windows 10, but I mean, installing new things is always what we do, right? Next time I'm going to have a Dell monitor and see if I could just hook that up, hook this up to it. That is the overview of this computer. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.